Hello and welcome. Bringing you all the action today from the MCG. And joining me as always is Gary Lyon. What a game we have here today, Hutto. It's been quite a build-up for this one. Hitting the turf today will be Collingwood and Gold Coast. make their way to the middle for the toss. Gold Coast winning the toss. So we've reached the final round of the home and away season. We've seen some great finishes to the season. What will today throw up? Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here we go. It's Collingwood taking on Gold Coast. Receives the handball and takes off. Pendlebury fends off the tackle. Giving it off for Trelaw. This is Adams. The loose ball scooped up. He has the ball. It's a turnover. Going for goal number one. Marks it the line. 20 metres out. Almost directly in front here. Meyer check going for number one. His teammates rush over. Puts the first goal on the ball. About to resume hostilities. Guided down nicely by Grundy. Witt's collected the ball well. Has it now. Lemons puts another one through. He loved that one. Gold Coast sink their first. Back in the middle, has the rucks go at it. Tap down. Murdoch just threw it. Trelaw drives the kick. Thompson just gets it onto the boot. Hit the man hard. Right, goes to the man on the run. Gathers it now. Side bottom gets the handball away. Maynard keeps coming. The handball hits the target. Ball gets cut off. Gets it away. Hands that ball to the opposition. Bowes throws the ball away. He drives it. And the mark will be paid. Dugowie just kicks it long. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Guides it down. Adams releases the ball. Taken by Dugowie. Listen to the fans celebrate as he drives that through. He's enjoying every second of it out there. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. They get around him after that effort. Back with another set of bounce. Winning it was Wits. Phillips did well not to fumble. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Goes the long option. Holman manages to get it under the boot. Decides to soccer it. Goes off the ground. Gives the old don't argue. Puts the handball out in front. Gives the don't argue. Adams moves it by hand. Ruffhead rushes with the kick. Harbrow slick with the hands. 
The mark is taken by Paul Smith. Paul Smith has resources out wide. Alice is surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. He spears the ball. Opportunity now for Dave. Might be too far out to score. A kick to even up the scores. Can't quite step through. And only a behind. The Suns produce the margin. Ready to bring it back into play. Sharon Berg plays on. Puts it on the boot. Lemons there to mop up. Off the ground, he's kicked the goal. He's excited about that one. Gold Coast find themselves in front. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle now. Witt won the hit out. Just gets it onto the boot. Sexton marks uncontested. Looks for a target inside 50. Stands tall and marks. 40 metres out. Can he put it through? A good result there, and that's a goal for Gold Coast. A second goal in the bag. Lemon couldn't be happier with that goal. That's two in a row for Gold Coast. The lead is now seven. Gets a quick kick away. Varko brings the ball in the air. Gold Coast just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground, and as a result, find themselves losing this contest. His first possession. Majacek gets the ball, looking to kick goal number two. Nice mark under pressure. Bowes kicks it. A big contested grab. Miles selects the kick. The ball mopped up. Sharon Berg earns a free kick. Alex to kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Moves the ball by foot. Good mark by Brody. Uses it by foot. Taking a nice grab. Smith uses it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Plays on now. Turned it over. Majacek can link up through hands. My ball, says the umpire. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. He's in his possession. The ball in the hands of Roughhead. Roughhead going to be penalised here. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Greenwood moves it now. Alice Hurry kick. Scoops it up. Applies a bump. Finds the loose ball. He takes aim. They get the goal for a tier. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood now only trailed by one. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. That's a really good team goal. We resume hostilities. Grundy stumps it clear. Paul and Smith made the tricky bounce look easy. The loose ball picked up. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Grundy, a long driving kick. Winning the ball in the air was Weller. A low stabbing kick. Open opportunity for Greenwood. Puts boot to ball. The end of the final term sees the scores stand. Gold Coast 19 to Collingwood 18. Gold Coast should be pleased with how they've started. If they can build on that quarter, they'll be hard to stop. Let's see what the stats have to show. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. 
They just need to be given a shot. Thanks, Gary.
We're ready for second quarter action. We're back in motion. Big thump from Grundy. Witz gathers it now. Greenwood links up with a chance to run. Majek picks up the loose ball. Showed his opponent the ball and took off. Receives the handball and takes off. Summed it up and he delivers perfectly. Smiles all round. Collingwood go back in the lead again. Center bounce. Punches it clear. Fiorini grabbed it clean. Fighting hard was Wits. Lemon puts it on the boot. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. He acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast goes back in front. About to resume play. Thrashes it with the ball now. Witz drives out the tackle. Snaffled up by Langdon. Mark by Dugowie. Heads long with that kick. Great mark in the pack. 45 metres out. A chance to steal the lead right here. Oh, what a goal! Cox celebrating hard. They're in the lead now. Back in the middle to resume play. Ruffin just swats it away. Rushes with the kick. He couldn't hang on. Cox kicks hurriedly. Finds a way to go along the ground. Gets his first. Main getting the crowd involved. Now they lead by 11. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Goes by hand to side bottom. Needs a bit of a rest. He wins the ball in the air. Plays on quickly. The ball ends up with May. 35 metres out. He likes his chances from here. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. Puts his second on the ball. May couldn't be happier with that goal. About to resume play. Hammers it. He's got the football now. Hacking it out of there. A chance to reload the attack now. The Magpies are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Ruffin found a way to mark that one. Chose to kick it. Penalty controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Good opportunity for Collingwood to put a goal through here. With a driving kick. Great mark. 45 metres out. They can't afford to be wasting these shots at goal from the corridor. Beam hammers it at goal. Puts it right through the middle. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. Celebrating hard. The Magpies starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 48 to 25. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Gold Coast are getting beaten around the contest. Rectifying that problem is key to them gaining control of this match. Picked up now. Didn't get away from that tackle. A great defensive effort. What a kick. And he puts it through. That's his first. The pressure continues to mount with that goal from Phillips. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. We're back in the middle now. Grundy with the punch. Trelaw goes off the ground. He just can't get out of the action. Moves it by foot. Off hands from Thomas. Weller goes for territory. A 
clean pick up. Goes short by hand. Bowes throws the ball away. Kicks the ball deep. Penelbury determined to reach the ball. Pendlebury coming off for a spell. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Phillips goes clever off the ground and kicks the goal. He's got a couple now, starting to get into this game. They stretch their lead with that effort. Congratulated by his teammates. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Collingwood have taken charge of the contested ball. It's allowing them to create their scoring opportunities. Greenwood collects the loose ball. And now they create a turnover. Appleby has resources out wide. The contest, no match for him. Yes, I know. Kick by Trelaw. Intercepts the ball well. Looks up with the kick. Fiorini with an easy mark. Now with a low spearing kick. Sexton bounds some space and marked. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. They really need a goal on the ball now. Got hands to it. Day kicks an incredible goal off the ground. He's enjoying that goal. Gold Coast behind by 29. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Grundy gets onto the ball. Trelaw quickly onto the boot. Intercepted. Can he put it through? A solid mark from Thompson. A spearing kick. Takes a nice mark. Drives it long. Collects the loose ball. Trelaw winds up and goes long. Simply outplayed his opponent. 35 metres out. Cox takes aim. That looked great. What a goal. A second goal in the bag. Pretty happy with that one. Collingwood go the Gold Coast by 35. Punched away. A chance for Greenwood. Movement by hand. Murdoch receives the ball. They can create from this. Using every ounce of energy he has left. It's a turnover. A strong pack mark. 40 metres from home. Half-time arrives, Gary. What are your thoughts on the first half? A good first half from Collingwood. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Gold Coast are allowing the opposition too much room on the outside. They need to close them down faster once they break away. Thanks for that. Two quarters down and only two to go. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Fiorini cuts it off, takes possession. The tackle misses completely. It's cut off by Adams. Side bottom manufactures a handball. Adams was taken high in the tackle. Got boot to ball. Beam did well to win that ball. Chips it towards half board. Grundy collects it. Kicks hurriedly. It's been a great game from Adams. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Just dismisses his opponent. Might be a bit of an injury for Langdon. Going straight to the rooms. Doesn't look good. Alice goes with the kick. Greenwood not getting much. 
touch of it, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Smiles all round. 35 points the difference. We're back in motion. Thumps it clear. Mops up the loose ball. Keeps it moving. He can take off after that handball. Lemons has had plenty of it, Gaz. You're right, Hunter. He's an absolute ball man. 20 metres from home. Day looking to put through another goal. He acknowledges the crowd. Gold Coast fighting hard, but still with work to do. He did really well there and gets the reward. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Umpire ready to resume play. Collingwood aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Varko used the body to take that mark. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Going for goal number one. Cox has a great set of hands. Distance no issue. It's all about the accuracy. He decides to go for home. He loved that one. Collingwood, but 35. Centre bounce. Grundy aims for his man on the ground. Hurried kick. The mark has been taken. Alice goes for territory. Harbrack spills it. Hoskin Elliott slams it onto the boot. Sear doesn't take the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. He's gone missing lately. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Sinks the slipper into it. Strong mark in the contest. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Looks to move it by foot. Lemons hacking it out of there. McPherson needs to leave. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. McPherson will be the recipient of the free. They are desperate for a goal now. It's marked by Day. A chance here to convert for Gold Coast. Drop punt straight through the middle. Three goals for him now. What an effort. Day celebrates with the fans. Gold Coast behind by 29. Grundy thrashes it. Trelaw quickly out of the boot. Over the top of the pack. Chips it towards half forward. A good job keeping it in play there. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Hoskin Elliott might have overworked himself there. Lobs the handball. He gets his hands on the footy. Slips the handball to Goey. No issues with that drop pass. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. He's enjoying that goal. Back in the middle. One down by Grundy. Up for grabs for Trelaw. Hoskin Elliott takes a strong mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Can't take possession. Sieg shows some physicality. Weller continues to find the ball. He just keeps finding the footy. Decides to keep going. Just through the ball. Works it across the ground. He gets above the crowd. This shouldn't be too difficult for Barco. He goes for broke. Collingwood supporters delighted by that effort. He puts through his first goal. This one gives them a bigger lead. Barco enjoying that goal. We're back in the middle to resume play. Wins the ruck duel. He gains possession. Drops the mark. Witts hunted him down. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Dugowie doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. 
Greenwood has resources out wide. Takes the mark. Thompson sends one up towards the wing. Moved on by Joyce. Bowes hangs on to that one. Goes with the kick. Greenwood runs after the ball. Slams it on the boot. Fiorini just gets it onto the boot. Alice read it best. Just gave it away. Gets the handball away. He wins possession. An easy grab for me. 25 metres out. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Maine love kicking that one. Collingwood could kick the last three goals. At the end of three quarters, it's Collingwood 96, Gold Coast 49. The Magpies believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Beams leading the ranking points on the ground. He's on fire at the moment. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Slapped away. Greenwood pushes through with power. Quick handball, right with the ball. Had the journey, but it's gone offline. Gold Coast close the gap to 46. Collingwood have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Manages to get the journey, but not the accuracy. Gold Coast looking for some scoreboard respectability. Sharon Berg to bring it back into play. Kept alive under pressure. Oh, and we'll get a ball up. They just need to find a way to work back into the game right now. Wits gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. It'll take something special to kick a goal from here. Of course, Hunter. Going for goal number one. It always looks close. Down and hits the post. Gold Coast produced the margin. Weighing up the options now. Marks in a bit of space. Moves the ball by foot. A mark by Adams. Elects to kick. Moore collects the loose ball. Good body work to win the mark. Goes by foot. Found space for an easy mark. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. They continue to get beaten in this area. They find it difficult to keep the lead. Does well to cut off the kick. Sharon Burke ready to bring it back into play. Chris gets in a good position. He drives it. Easily takes the mark. Appleby goes the long option. Right, just put it on the boot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. A drop pass through the goals. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Hall and Smith. Gold Coast now only trailed by 37. Back with another centre bounce. One down. He wins possession. Bends off the tackler. Showing some really good pressure there. Murdoch with a shorthand pass. Going for goal number three. He wins the ball in the air. 20 metres from home. Give it on. Day will be praying he doesn't miss this chance. Gets a reward for his efforts. Starting to work their way back. The game is back underway. Wits on the tap. Shows some physicality. Goes short by hand. And now Murdoch. Alice takes it well. Chance to put one through for his side. Uses it now. Gets into some space to mark this. 
Wits with a big chance to convert here. Chris didn't mark it. Moore doesn't make the tackle. Picked off the deck. I hope that's not serious. But boy, he looks to be in a lot of pain. That could be the end of the day for Person. Adams flicks it over. Murdoch going for number one. They get around him after that effort. Still a fair way off, but hoping this is something to build on. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. We resume hostilities. Witt's got a fist to it. Made the tricky bounce look easy. Turned it over. Just put it on the boot. Couldn't quite with the mark. Picks up the loose ball. Now we've got a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Scoops up the ball. Rushes with the kick. Majek controlled it well off the bounce. Looking to kick goal number two. Celebrating hard. Now they lead by 31. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. About to resume hostilities. Witt won the hit out. Murdoch brushes off the tackle. Paul Smith gives it off. And now they go. Picks up the loose ball. Slick with the hands. Takes possession. Stands tall and marks. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. Gold Coast fans getting excited about that one. Congratulated by his teammates. Gold Coast reduced the margin. We're back in the middle now. Thump clear. Brilliant step. Tough one to handle for rough hand. Miles onto the ball. At full stride, receives the handball. Hacking it out of there. Taken well at ground level by Sexton. Great grab. 40 metres out. Works well on the boot for goal. Drop punt straight through the middle. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Gold Coast, close the gap to 19. Grundy got a fist to it. Hoskin Elliott, hurried kick. Couldn't complete the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. Murdoch got the hands free. Slams it onto the boot. Just gets the kick away. Dug out the loose ball. Sweeping handball. Going for goal number one. He slots this one. A big goal there. Look at them celebrate that effort. They are gathering some steam now. We resume hostilities. Grundy clears the contest. Pushes through with power. He gets his hands on the footy. Knew I was coming. Is in his possession. He flicks it over. Gives it to Trelaw. Ends up turning this ball over. Hanley kicks hard along the boundary line. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Finds a target. Puts it on the boot. Nice mark under pressure. Miles goes with the kick. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Drop punt finds its way home from Beams. He celebrates hard after that. 19 points the difference. That's a really good team goal. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Collingwood are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they set up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. 
Fiorini looking a bit sluggish out there. Collingwood built some confidence off the back of that win, and aren't they excited? They just had more players playing their role today. When footy is so even these days, that was the difference in the end. Final scores are 108 to 89. That's it for us. We'll see you again next time. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.